Hello everyone, welcome to the Great Edge Workshop. Tonight's video uh, is to discuss the benefits and differences between the three main sharpening methods for um, uh, sharpening materials for the Tormac T8, and that is the, the SG250, the grindstone that comes with the, the Tormac uh, T8, uh, along with CBN wheels and diamond wheels. Um, the differences between them and which one is best, etc., is a really common question for new Tormac users. Um, so I thought I would compile my thoughts uh, into a video that maybe can become a useful uh, reference for, for others down the track. This is a very, um, very much a practical guide, a user's guide from a practical user of, uh, of the Tormac. So I'm not going to go deep into the science. I'm not even really going to touch the science here. Uh, just the just the factors that I think an everyday user of a Tormac um, uh, can experience and, and understand. So. Um, Without further ado, um, I think I will start with the the, the standard um, wheel for the for the Tormac or grindstone. That's the SG250. It comes with your T8, unless you happen to purchase the T8 custom, which is completely free of any accessories. Uh, but most people, most new Tormac users, are going to start with with this stone. Um, it's an incredibly useful and versatile and powerful stone uh, because of it, the, the, the spectrum of grits that are available within one, one single stone. So uh, using the stone grater uh, here allows you to change, alter the, 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 the grit on here from somewhere in the low 200s um, up to just over just over a thousand. So very coarse for repairs, for reprofiling, uh, etc up to a very refined edge all within one stone. I'm not going to go over the use of the, the, the stone grater. Um, there's other videos out there that cover that very well. Also, I imagine you're here because you've already watched uh, some of those or you already have a Tormac and you're, you're familiar with it. Um, but that ability uh, to, to shift between grits, uh, quite a wide range within one stone, uh, to, to me, I think is, is, is excellent uh, and, and very useful. Um, one thing that you do have to keep in mind uh, and, and be aware of with the SG250 is that it, it does wear. Uh, so with use over time, the diameter is, is, is going to decrease. It's going to be getting smaller. Uh, so it is a, a change part or a wear part, um, if, if you like. But on a day-to-day -day basis, you need to keep track of the diameter because it will influence your setup for edge angles. Um, less. So, well, I suppose not at all if you're using the, the, the Sharpie method, but if you're using the Angle Master or if you're using any software uh, to set up your edge angles, then you do need to know the diameter of your stone in order for those calculations to come to, 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 to work out correctly. And that's because the three factors, the three main factors for setting your edge angle are the, um, the distance, the, the, the height of the universal support above the, the, the frame of the Tormac, and then the distance uh, between the universal support and the and the edge of the stone, how much of that is this distance uh, is 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 one factor, but then also the the diameter of the stone it, it itself. So um, as as it wears, you need to be adjusting for that, and that's not the case for CBN and and diamond wheels, which I'll talk about later. Uh, which are fixed diameter and they don't uh, they, they they don't wear they don't they don't shrink over time um, you may call that a weakness uh, but that that's that uh, the, the, the wearability of it the malleability of it can also be a strength and uh, two big ones that I can think of one is that uh, it, it gives you the ability to shape the stone a little bit so if you want to round off uh, the edges because you're working on curved blade um, or just to take a little bit of a bite out of it, uh, a bite out of the stone, um, that's, that, that's, that's possible. Uh, also, particularly thinking of beginners, uh, it means that the stone is repairable. So if you have an accident um, and you take a chip, accidentally take a chip out of the stone, it all is not lost. Uh, you can grind that away uh, to, to repair the stone so that it's, it's as, um, back to a usable condition again. That's not the case for CBN or diamond where um, if you happen to drop uh, one of those, chances are uh, it's your your only solution for that is 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 to replace it, which is not insignificant amount of money. Um, so uh, very very useful. I mean, as you'd expect from Tormac, uh, clearly they've done their homework and delivered a very high quality product in the SG two hundred and fifty. 
Moving on now uh, to to CBN wheels. Um, I've got uh, four of them in my in, in my workshop. Uh, two main suppliers: uh, knife grinders from Australia uh, and uh, Schlieff junkies from Germany. I have four different uh, grits of CBN that I use: uh, 80 grit and one, uh, 80 grit, 160, 400, uh, and and a thousand. So. Unlike the SG250, which you can adjust the grit of one single stone, CBN, and also diamond, uh, the, the grits are fixed. And if you want to change grit, that means you have to change wheel. Um, now, the nice thing about that uh, is that because this, these, these wheels don't wear, uh, it means that the diameter is always the same. And once you've got your universal support set up, uh, swapping from one wheel to the next is as simple as swapping from one wheel to the next in terms of your edge angle setup. So each new wheel you haven't got to um, you, you haven't got to reset. Whereas if you're working with this one, if you're working with the SG250 and you take it off for, to fit, uh, for example, the Japanese stone, they are going to have different diameters and you need to reset your angles between the between the stones. CBN. Uh, as you're going up through your grit progression, 80, 160, 400, etc., you swap one off, uh, take one wheel off, put the next one on, and, and away you go. Um, other nice thing uh, about the uh, CBN and, and and also for the diamond is the ability to sharpen on the on the side. So um, that's uh, only made possible because these stones uh, don't wear. If you, if you sharpen on the side of your SG250 the first time, it'll be fine. Uh, but as you're wearing away the stone, you're gonna end up with something very irregular shape that can't be trued. Uh, that, that's, the, the top surface can be repaired, but not the side, not nearly as easily. Um, so sharpening on the side of CBN and diamond is a, is a distinct advantage of those um, wheels versus the SG250. When would you want to do that? Well, whenever you want a perfectly flat bevel. Uh, so certain single bevel Japanese knives, you'd want to sharpen on the side. Um, also the uh, any, any Scandi grind is, is, a, is a classic example as well, where you want to be able to have a perfectly flat bevel and the side of the side of the wheel um, is, is needed. So CBN and diamond, good for that. Uh, you need to get one of these things, um, which allows you to set up the universal support for side of the wheel sharpening so um, investment is a factor and I'm going to talk about costs a little bit later as well investment overall is is a factor when you're talking about CBN and diamond um, the uh, final one uh, is diamond that I wanted to talk about Tormek uh, is the manufacturer of, of three grits of diamond stone they have the DC 250, that, the DF 250, and the DE 250, that's coarse, fine, and extra fine, uh, which are uh, memory tests here, 360 grit, 600 grit, and 1200 grit, respectively, or, 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 or thereabouts. Um, I had all three of those um, as well. At one time I had the uh, SG 250, the Japanese stone, four CBN wheels, three diamond wheels, um, just to be able to test and understand and, and, and see which, which system I preferred. Ultimately, um, I ended up selling my diamond wheel, so I can't show them to you here today, but I've got, a, I've got a couple photos. Um, things that I like about the diamond wheels, again, the, the, the fixed, the fixed diameter, so they don't, uh, so, so they don't wear, make it very versatile or quick to change as you're going through, as you're going up through a grit progression. Um, also versus the CBN wheels, a much larger sharpening surface area on the side of the wheel. So if you're interested in those, in those flat bevels, diamond wheels, um, are far more, far more useful. I ended up ultimately settling on the, the CBN wheels versus the diamond, um, only because of the availability of the, uh, the 80 grit, uh, CBN wheel. So CBN has a wider grit range um, available than the, than the diamonds currently. And the other factor is that the diamond wheels need an anti-corrosion um, additive to the, to, to the water trough uh, for, the, for, for, the, for the cooling to protect the wheel. Uh, and what, I've, what I was having to do was start with an 80 grit 
CBN, which runs on, it uses tap water alone. Then as I got into the diamond, I'd have to um, uh, add the coolant. And so I'd have, I was having to manage, spend a lot more time managing the, um, uh, the, what was in my, what was in the coolant trough. Um, so I decided to sell my diamond wheels, very strong secondary market uh, for those. So, so that was no problem. Um, and I'm, I'm focusing specifically on uh, CBN, CBN sharpening now. Um, in terms of the, the advantages uh, of, the, of, of diamond wheels, certainly that larger surface area is, is, is one uh, on, the, on the side of the wheel. The other thing I think to, to think about is, is customer support and, and, and customer service. So for now, uh, CBN wheels are only sold by uh, small businesses run by um, uh, run by individuals. So one, one or two people in in the company. Incredible service at uh, knife grinders and at uh, Schleif junkies. But if you're talking about uh, comparing that to Tormac, which has a multinational presence, um, incredible customer service, renowned customer service, I would say. Uh, you're going to have a lot more support and a lot more backing uh, going going the Tor Tormac route. So if that's a factor for you, um, certainly diamond uh, diamond is an advantage. Lumping diamond and CBN together, uh, we have to talk about cost uh, as well. So one of the things um, that that need to mention is that the the amount that I've got uh, the, the the cost of the wheels. Um, is, is substantial for CBN, uh, CBN and diamond. So um, what I've got uh, hanging on the side of my Tormac stand here with those four CBN wheels, it, it costs me twice as much as what I have uh, sitting on top. Or to put it another way, the total investment of what you see uh, on, on the stand here, one third of it is the, is the T8 and two thirds of it is those four, uh, four CBN wheels. So, um, it's a serious, serious decision when you decide when you decide to go down that route. Um, something, something to consider. Anyways, um, I, I I hope this was useful. Um, do share any, any any thoughts in the in the in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you either with questions of uh, where what, what, other questions that you may have about these different sharpening media. Um, and and or how you might like to see um, next video take take shape on the on this topic. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you've made it this far, um, I hope this has been helpful, and see you again soon.